Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Yeah. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning from attendees from uh, EMEA and uh, good afternoon from our attendees here in Asia. My name is Jason. I'm the system sales specialist at Broadcast Solutions in Singapore. Uh, here with us are Mark and uh, Michelle from Mobile B1. Guys, can you please introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Mark Andrews. I'm a global sales director here at Mobile Viewpoint. Hi, I'm Michel Weiss, managing director of Mobile Viewpoint, and here together with Mark and, of course, Vodka Solutions to tell you more about our solutions. Thank you, Mark and Michel. Okay, so now let's go to my, let me just quickly share my screen. And I hope you're seeing them. Okay, so now, now we're going to have uh, two topics for today. So uh, remote production and AI trigger. So I'll, I'll, I'll start with the remote production. Mark and Michelle will discuss uh, AI triggered and also so, uh, show you some uh, hands-on demo of the products, okay? Okay, so uh, there was a buzzword making rounds inside and outside the broadcast community just recently. You know, with social distancing requirements still in place, content producers and continue to seek method to create live content from remote locations. So these are the, the word Remy. Yeah. Remy stands for Remote Integration Model, which I can also call it RIM. It's a broadcast workflow where content is captured live from a remote location while production is performed at the main studio. High budgeted live productions may utilize fiber or satellite communication uh, uh, connectivity. But of course, with our topic today, we will discuss on the emerging Remy on an IP-based connectivity. Okay, uh, because of the COVID-19 situation globally, we all know that you know people are unwilling to travel or un unable to leave their homes. And Remy production workflow makes sense, you know. Now it is one of the heavily utilized uh, production companies that content creators are using around the world. A simple Remy production starts with capturing audio and video by feeding them to your an encoder, which is on the talent location, and it's also connected to the internet. At the Remy control room, you receive the IP streams and decode it back to the original form and then broadcast it, you know, as simple as that. And then here you go, you have the Remy production. But we all know it did not stop from there. You know, the, the requirement from Remy uh, increases and uh, the utilization and the requirements continue to grow. High quality encoder decoders with low latency and high uh, best of class resiliency were needed. Two way intercoms started to become a necessary uh, oh. return videos for face to face interviews. Uh, sending back teleprompters to a, a remote host and also the IP tunneling when you're, you need a VPN connection back to your uh, HQ. These are some of the emerging complexity that also adds up to the Remy production. And of course, in the connectivity side, some new flavors, like for example, some, some broadcaster will require an SD1 or an MPLS line, a high-speed broadband internet with uh, VPN connections, a public internet, maybe for some broadcast apps or some hosts that are using just home internet, and also using uh, cellular bonding, uh, cellular technologies like 3G, 4G, LTE, and soon the 5G network. Not being biased, as you all know that uh, you know, broadcast solution we've been uh, partnering with Mobile Viewpoint for a couple of years now. And uh, we can say that uh, Mobile Viewpoint has been the head of the game way before COVID-19 and travel restrictions started. Uh, Mobile Viewpoint offers uh, easy to operate lightweight devices, which meets the requirements of today's live video capturing and Remy productions using bonded IP networks such as Wi-Fi, LAN, 4G, LTE, and of course, you know, the upcoming 5G network. It's good to note that, you know, a mobile viewpoint was first in the industry to offer cellular bonding encoders with features that include multi-camera remote production, up to four cameras, and also including some other features like uh, remote controls, uh, tally light, and uh, intercoms. So again, mobile viewpoint was first in the industry to introduce these features. 
Okay, so let's look on this uh, quick example on how Mobile Viewpoint uh, solved the, the complexity of uh, a Remy into a single one box solution. In this example, we have a pair of Mobile Viewpoint TerraLink 4CM encoder and a Playout 4C, 4C1 decoder. In this setup, you will be able to achieve a maximum of four video channels bi-directional, four audio channels bi-directional also, a return video either to an HDMI or a, an SDI port. So this is very useful for, uh, as I mentioned earlier, a face-to-face -face interview to a remote location or sending uh, a teleprompter feed to your, to your reporter on the field. Also, we have a functionality of controlling cameras using their own uh, protocol or an IP-based uh, PTZ head and uh, uh, an IP-based uh, PTZ controller should be able to, to tunnel on this connection. And also tally light uh, are available in this fashion and also uh, not but not the least also uh, a remote location will be able to use the TerraLink or the encoder as an internet hotspot to, uh, to, to get um, a cheap high bandwidth connection using your cellular bonding connections. And also just recently, Mobile Viewpoint announces their new product, which cater for Remy production. Trolley Live Remote Pro is an all-in-one, one-box production setup for mobile and remote live broadcasts. That is a self-contained in one manageable box. The unit contains everything needed to do a complete live, indoor and outdoor video live production. The system comes with a PTZ camera, a touch screen and an H.265 encoder that can be connected to a LAN or a Wi-Fi, or even have an option to have a cellular bonding, a, a modem, a cell modem that you can use for cellular bonding. And also in the box, you have an XLR port for connecting a dynamic or condenser type of microphone. So this is really a complete uh, production setup in one box. And also some other features in the clouds are the overlays and ticker tapes and add insertion, which are available on the link matrix, uh, which is the, the cloud portal of uh, mobile viewpoint. Yeah, so it's just a very quick presentation, as, but as I end my presentation, Remy is a very powerful and new approach tool that uh, is being addressed to uh, the challenges of travel restriction and open a new opportunities from work from home live broadcast. In principle, Remy should reduce the number of crew, minimal, and also the location allows more people to help run a show remotely from a broadcaster's fixed facility. Fueled by the growth of IP-based media networks and operation, Remy enables broadcasters to take better advantage of all its technical and human resources and increase both production efficiency and output. So again, uh, we have a mobile viewpoint is positioned to, to offer such products in support of the Remy and in simplifying your Remy production. So now I uh, move forward and uh, hand it over to Mark and Michelle to tell us more about the, the AI triggered uh, production. Mark and Michelle? Yeah, thanks, Jason. Appreciate that. Um, so my plan this morning, really, we've got a couple of encoders I can quickly show you, uh, but we're also planning on showing you vPilot. So vPilot is one of our AI driven automated camera systems. So just for those of you who don't know Mobile Viewpoint, for the last 10 years, uh, we've been uh, major innovators in the encoding market. Um, so we have a, an, an example here, for example, this is one of our mobile encoders. So it can go in a backpack. Uh, Jason gave the example of one of our fixed encoders that you could have uh, in an OB truck, for example. And primarily it's for live streaming those events, whether it's news, sports, or some other live event, back to a, a broadcast center. Uh, and we've been real innovators at that in the last 10 years. And as, as Jason mentioned, over the last sort of year, there's been this big shift towards remote production or Remy, as we like to call it. So we've really been driving that market by adding new feature functionality into our encoders. So for example, this uh, encoder here can do multi-camera inputs. So you can have up to four cameras in a single encoder. Um, but more than that, the RCP control that Jason mentioned, tally light control, um, everything that you need so you don't need to send people to site. Um, especially given a lot of the restrictions these days caused by COVID, you know, this, this technology is really lending itself well to that sort of scenario. But as a company, we like to innovate. And actually for the last couple of years, Michelle, we've been sort of 
driving the AI side of things as well. Yes, you. yes, uh, of course, uh, with, with our uh, mobile and code, of course, we also did see the need for an, uh, having also more automated production, so you don't have to bring many cameramen and many people on site. So on Vpilot is one of the examples. We, we started as, as a mobile production solution. You can go to, an, to a guy you want to interview. You just put up some tripods with cameras and sensors, and then you do the whole switching automatically. Yeah. So you don't need on-site camera people. You don't need an on-site director. Everything can be managed remotely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as well as the COVID, obviously, it's reducing costs. Uh, you don't need as much resource. And, and the flexibility of being able to send a, something out without the need for a whole camera production team is quite a compelling proposition. So what I'm going to show you, actually, within here in the studio. So we're in our studio in Alkmaar. We're in the Netherlands, about 25 kilometers north of Amsterdam. We have the pilot running. Um, so I've got a little camera here. So I can actually show you. Is it, is it not working? No. Oh. I'm sorry. What I was going to show you was the behind the scenes, what we have here. So what we have is actually um, a four camera setup. And as part of that, we have sensors. So we have sensors which can show you. But what we can do is actually Michelle can give a, a quick overview of the, yeah. um, of user, the, user, of the, interface, of the user interface. You have to share it. I think. Yeah. Sorry. Let me, let me share the screen. I will explain you something more about how the system works. So we will share the web interface of the, of the system and the vPilot system itself. So you can see actually uh, us in the studio. So as Mark says, the system contains uh, cameras, PTZ cameras and several 3D sensors. And those 3D sensors, actually what they do is that they make a bit image recognition with AI. They find actually people's head and actually we find people's nose. And we do that on two ways. You do that with image recognition, also with depth sensing. So you see those orange dots in the pictures over here that are uh, our noses. And with the depth sensors, we exactly know where the nose is. So we also know where to point the camera, actually. And we also know if there is really somebody in the studio. So over here, you see a 3D picture of the room we are at the moment. So those squares you see over here, that are the seats. We call it seats, so positions of speakers in the studio. In this case, it's two, but it can be endless, of course. It can be six, ten, whatever you want. And then these small blocks over here are the four cameras we have. And you see the lines, the cameras pointing. So what you can see now that I can step out of my chair. So if I walk out, uh, you see me walking away. So you see me going out of the chair. And then uh, you see also uh, that I'm getting gray block. So although I stay, keep on talking, I don't get any shots anymore of myself. So if I return back into my chair, as we call it, so you see I'm returning, I'm getting green. So and also now I'm getting shots again. So uh, this, this overcomes that, uh, of course, you did see an overview shot as, as, as a fallback. But this overcomes that you're going to see shots of empty chairs, for example. But you also can see my position. So with this position, we can also fine-tune the PTZ camera. So if I'm moving a little bit, so the next shot, I'm still, again, corrected in the right position. So, uh, but that is really the AI part of the system. And then, of course, we have the switching. How is this switching done? Now, that is what you define over here. That's what we call shots. So over here, you see actually shots you can define. So where you tell actually the system how a shot should look like and, and zoomed in, zoomed, zoomed out shot. And uh, also this is what a director should do. So over here you can define how, how shots look. For example, over here you see myself, but on the other side I can show Mark. Oh, that's myself again. But over here you can fine tune. And the question is of course, when do you switch to those shots? And that's actually defined by audio levels. So there is nothing magic over here. What you see over here is actually the audio input. So Mark, if you can start talking, you will see. Yep, I'm over here and so, I'm audio input three. Yeah. So what you yeah. see over here is that we use the audio as a trigger for uh, defining when there is somebody talking and then we have some values. So you see a threshold over here. So if somebody just <coughs> coughs, we don't switch live to him, but only if he talks for a certain amount of time and also if you just make a small pause, then we don't switch away directly. We just wait a few milliseconds. And this is something a director should really help you configuring to get the right shots. Uh, other things we like to show, Mark, I think you would like to show the, the multi-view, I think, if I go, how do we get there? So this is actually the multi-viewer. So here you see our, our uh, you see at the moment we are on auto, but I can also make it manually, just select shot one, or I can select uh, two. And actually, I can also do five, which is an overview shot again. And I can go back to auto. So this also gives you the possibility, if you don't like the situation, you can still intervene in the solution. 
Um, yeah, and what also is, uh, is interesting to see, but it's more a bit technical, that over here, you see actually the whole system working. So over here, you see the director under the hood giving decisions on which shots to make. And also when a shot is expired, so we should go to a new shot because every shot has a maximum and a minimum length and then we vary between those. So this gives a very quick, quick overview what the free pilot is. It's I like think. the brain of the system. It's the brain of the system, yes. Yeah. This is a dump yeah. of the brain, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, we, we often get asked, you know, how does this compare to like a, a manual system or just a system that just switches based on voice? Um, and the point is you've got this AI driving the system so it's, I think of it as like a, a virtual director, but it's based on your preferences. So you put your own preferences in uh, on a particular production, as Michelle just showed, but then the AI can then decide, okay, how am I going to create this compelling production? Um, so it's going to do the different shots, it's going to do the overview, it's going to move automatically between the cameras, and it's, and it's all done automatically. Whereas if you compare it to a, perhaps a much lower cost manual system, you have to have someone who's there manually switching, or you do get systems which just do it purely on voice. But the point is, as long as I'm talking, the, cap, the one camera shot stays on me and you don't get that sort of nice visual production you get as you would with an AI system. Yeah, and also because we are really finding the height of people, we're finding really you know. So if you have people with different length getting into the studio, you automatically correct all shots for the different uh, yeah, uh, height of somebody coming in. So it makes it also a system that is ready for every situation. You don't have to retune it if, the sit if other people come in. Or for example, if you want to move the seats a little bit, you just move the seats and the whole system follows automatically your repositioning. Yeah. And initially we, we created this small for sort of the broadcast market and actually for a lot of radio stations who do uh, live streaming to web, for example. Um, and they would have guests coming in, they'd have the round table discussion. And what they didn't want is to have the, the camera people coming in for that. So now they have an automated system that takes care of that. But actually what we're seeing more and more now is that the, the corporate market for their marketing communications, um, where they're delivering uh, press news, that sort of thing, um, it, it, it's kind of being more and more adopted by the corporate market. They don't have a particular uh, speciality around broadcast, but the point is, and what Michelle showed with the, the web interface, it's a very intuitive, easy system to set up. Yes, it needs a little bit of training, but once you've had your training, actually, it lends itself to a whole variety of situations that we never thought possible. And given COVID now as well, obviously, in remote production, becoming of, of, you know, becoming yeah. of age, then actually it lends itself very well to that. And you well. can even define different profiles. So you can get your director once in to define different profiles. So more aggressive switching for a youth program about yeah. uh, youngsters and about uh, music, for example. And you can make also the director get another profile for more relaxed switching of the cameras for more in talk show or more in discussion forum. Yeah. So the, the V-Pilot system can actually manage different type of, of uh, automated video productions with the same uh, hardware. And we have quite a rich roadmap going forward, don't we, Michelle? Yeah, yeah, we have, uh, I just want to show you a little bit. We also, you can add overlays, but you can also be using a Casper CG engine under the hood, so you can upload your own HTML5 overlay, so on the fly, you can bring in ticker tape, or you can actually bring news from the lectures, for example, in the States. So all those things you are used to, you can also bring into this system. And actually, we have resulted several systems also for, uh, for uh, podcast recordings. Because at the moment, a podcast recording requires quite some people in the studio to make the podcast. But now the journalist can do it himself. Actually, he can walk in in this studio, sit down, and actually start his recording his podcast. Because also the system records. Yeah. So you can you don't have to go live with it. You can just record a podcast or something else that you want just to do offline. That's the last thing we can mention, just the V-panel, which is this. Yeah, OK, yeah, this is the V-panel. This is uh, yeah. a, a box. Uh, oh, okay, there it is. So on the VPN, you can actually uh, select the play out of videos. You can enable overlays. I can actually switch how you do it. Uh, here's the overlays. So, and then I have an overlay over here. And then I click play. And then you should see the, the icon of mobile viewpoint coming in. And I can stop again. So with this, can the, the, the talent, the presenter, the web, uh, the, the podcast recorder can actually start his own movies and actually also manually control the cameras if he wants. Yeah. So that's a good overview, hopefully, of, of vPilot, our AI technology as well, which is a, a direction we're going in on top of the encoder market. We'll certainly continue to innovate on our encoding products here. Um, we're always trying to take one step ahead of our competition. And we always feel innovation is a real big part of our DNA here at Mobile. Yeah, and, and what we also see, of course, with our mobile transmission technology, there is always a delay. How, how small we make it, there's always a delay. So yeah. if you really want to do remote the joystick stuff, it's always difficult. And with having the AI, you don't have to have the joystick. The whole moving of the cameras is fully automatic. So it enhances your Remy production, makes it more vivid and direct. Great. 
So that's in conclusion, that's our pitch. Jason, back to you. Yeah, thank you, Mark and Michelle. That's a very interesting uh, uh, product and topic that you have discussed. So I'm just uh, quickly looking on the question panel. So, uh, yep. Okay, good. So we don't have questions. It's either we are presented very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I think we're also running out of time, but um, for all our attendees, actually tomorrow we have another session with Mobile Viewpoint. So they were gonna discuss the other product, which is the IQ Sports Producer. So it's also in our schedule. So, okay, so without further ado, uh, see you again next time, Michelle and uh, Mark, any other final message? You're welcome, Jason, them? thanks. Okay. Yeah, thanks very much, yeah, tune in, tune in next time. See okay, you. I'll see you again soon. Thank you guys. Thank you, Jason, bye-bye. Bye-bye.